I do philosophy at the University of Kentucky. I cannot understand why you are so upset about your experiences here. The program failed 65% of the people who took the comprehensive exams in August. They have 10 people on the market this year. The workload is comically large when you are a teaching assistant at the beginning of the program. Wait, but are you suggesting that they are failing more people on the comprehensive exam to try to improve placement in the long run? Like robbing Peter to pay Paul? It is more like robbing a hooker to pay a crack dealer. I cannot prove that they failed so many people to help placement on the back end. So you are saying it is not the case then? I am saying it does not matter. Both the people who pass the comps and the people who fail the comps are never going to get a job with their doctorate from the University of Kentucky. Do you know how poor our placement is? I do not care. The top 10 universities have averaged between 75 and 80 percent placement in tenure-track or tenured non-community college jobs in philosophy since 2003. The University of Kentucky has placed 5.3 percent since that time. 5.3% means you stand almost no chance of getting a job, especially since the market pressures have changed irrevocably in the past two years and Obama is putting tons of money into the community college system. But I'm writing on Derrida and my work will be fantastic. In 2010, there were six jobs available nationwide in continental philosophy. You work will lack analytical clarity, and the philosophical community will laugh as you adjunct for the rest of your life, and end up eating government cheese, and living in a van down by the river. We have an excellent program. The Cumps prove just how wrong Princeton and Rutgers and MIT and NYU really are. They are the inferior programs, because all they do, is advanced problem solving and thought experiments. I've never solved a problem and I have never run an experiment. There are more jobs in the philosophy of physics than in the history of philosophy. That is so sad. I will go home tonight and cry over a bottle of Colonel Quickie Mart's Kentucky Bourbon because of this. The academy will change, however. When the next economic upturn occurs and the humanities rise up in preeminence because the world realizes how much they really need us, philosophy will return to its presence and continentals will be hired in mass. You're talking about this like it's the return of Christ. Which in a way is fitting, because what you describe is about as likely to happen as that. Oh, and you might want to stay away from the bourbon. We're in a moderate climate, but with a diet of KFC and no low-carb options available, you will fail in your backup plan as a jazzercise instructor. They a tenure track, I've heard. I do not do this because I hope to get a job. I do it because I love it. Love what? The pursuit of wisdom. Are you prepared to die in a state of poverty because of that? Well that will not happen. Yes it will. But I will have my doctorate. Everyone from my hometown, which closely resembles that of Jodie Foster's in the movie Nell, will have to call me doctor. It will be on my credit cards, of which I will have many. So basically the only advantage you see to what you do, is that people will call you doctor? It will make me feel good, along with photos of me in front of the Harvard Philosophy Department. You are delusional. What makes you different from the people who buy a massive amount of lottery tickets in the hope of getting rich? My method of mentally determining my ideal existence is more sophisticated than theirs. What will you end up publishing? The Floyd County Roadkill Cookbook? At least my word will live on into the ages. How will your children live on? Are you stupid? They will live off the roadkill that the book I write will teach them how to cook, which really I could only publish with my doctorate. That actually is the first thing you have said which makes at least some sense. I thank you. I have to go now. Wait, if you get into a place better than Kentucky, will you tell them about me? No, I believe you are suffering from the same fit of true believerism which belabors Pentecostals. I am half expecting you to start handling timber rattlesnakes as we speak. Even if I were to never get in somewhere else, I will not be a philosophy slut. I will have standards, and if I can never get into a place that actually can place me, I will do something else. But then you will be forsaking a life of wisdom. So the fuck what? To say that means you never should have gone into philosophy in the first place, just like our anti-homosexual publishing chairman suggested to you. Wanting to pursue a life of wisdom, and feeling like, if you don't you're a failure, are two very different things. I hate you. Talk to the hand, bitch.
You are hurting my career prospects with your crusade against the department. They are hurting your career by responding to my concerns flippantly and not assisting me in my attempts to get away from their horrible department, with one or two exceptions. And remember, your career prospects will never be able to begin with. You are as marketable as brisket at a non-kosher deli. I have to go. Stop hurting the department. In the end, the department has hurt itself. You and I are blameless for their administrative incompetence and sorry position.